I want to talk about something else, which is about the origin of things and about the stories of the origin of things. I want to talk about why they're so powerful and why that's different from nostalgia. That's different from thinking about the good old days. Telling the story of the origin of things is about something that's still present with us now. It's about the spirit of something, not the outer form, right? So nostalgia is about, hey, remember when we used to hang out down on whatever, 4th Street? Remember when, you know, used to whatever. It's about the outer form. An origin story goes right to the beginning of things, and that beginning of things is right in us now. It's telling us something about who we are right in the present moment. The origin story of anything, if that thing is important to you, becomes important. You ever have your mother or father tell you the story of your own birth and how that went? Um, there, there's an origin story for you. There's the origin story of Sunrise Ranch. Ooh, ooh, it's just how um, this small group, this is I, I've been able to determine something like 10 people eight or 10 people uh, who had had an office in Loveland at the bank building, which is still in town, how they came out here and for the most part lived in the farmhouse right over here. And they had almost no money and just saw it through and started things you know, with their bare hands. They built this place with their bare hands. And if you see we have a video of, of the early days of the ranch. It's about the origin story of Sunrise Ranch. Magnificent. The origin story of Emissaries of Divine Light is epic. It's epic. It's a story of how Lloyd Arthur Meeker, in 1932, he was in Tennessee with his wife and child at the time, and he was searching and searching and serving and one night he was there just restless, restless, restless. And he couldn't go to sleep and he started to write. And there's something just came through him. It just was not like nothing he'd experienced before. And it came through in his writing, which we still have. And it happened for three successive nights. And after that, he came to see himself, not just as Lloyd Arthur Meeker, but as Yoranda, as someone who was commissioned to do something great, to bring an enlightenment, an understanding, an awakening to the world. That is the origin story of Sunrise Ranch and Emissaries of Divine Light. So how about us? We can go from day to day, right, Bump, bumping along in life. Um, of course, we all do go day to day in some way. We all do bump along in some way. But there's something deeper. There's something deeper at our roots. There's a reason why we got here. There re there's a reason why we're here. It isn't just about the outer form of things, the outer form of what we're doing day to day. If that's all that's going on for a person, they are bumping along, bumping off what's ever happening with the people around them. But when we touch into our origin story and the very root and origin of who we are, something changes. We become about that. And yeah, there are the things that, that are going on. There's the challenge of the day. But I know who I am. I know where I'm coming from. I know the, the power of creation that's at my core that launched this whole thing from the beginning, whatever that beginning is, however I mark it. I'm a part of that. That's moving me. And do you think that what just happened this morning is going to knock me off what I'm about? No, it's not. No, there's a line, an unbroken line behind me 
that started someplace, something was launched, and I'm an incarnation that is fulfilling that in my lifetime, that is bringing that forward. And yes, in that line, there's all kinds of crazy things that went on for the human beings involved. I know some of them, and most of them I don't know. But I know there are some goofy things that have gone on in this planet, and that there are some terrible things in the human story. And yet there's an origin to it that is perfect and beautiful. Talking about origin story, what is the origin story that's contained right within the Judeo-Christian tradition? It isn't original sin. You can go back and you can, you can read the story of creation and Genesis and everything else. There's no original sin. There's original blessing. We were created in the image and likeness of the divine, male and female. We were created that way. That's our origin story. There's a, a long line behind us, however we understand it to be. And we are a part of that, part of that lineage. Something happens when you understand that you're part of that. And when you have pride for the truth of what's in back of that, pride for all the ancestors who brought it forward, you get in touch with something that is not only of the past, but is of the now. You get in touch with your origin that isn't just about the past, but is about the power of creation, the original energy that is always available to you, to me, to anyone. You get in touch with the sense of purpose that isn't just a man-made purpose. Oh, I think I'm going to try to accomplish this. No, but the, the sense of purpose that's inherent in who you are and inherent in that originating energy. When we get in touch with that, with the, the origin of our own life, our own purpose, does that fire will at all? I think so. It fires up our will, our desire, the urge that we have to live, to be, to generate something through ourselves that has meaning in the world.